So how do you get a story out of someone who's not a natural born storyteller? Well, as a leader in the business, one of your challenges is to cast the narrative for the business, to use story to help people deepen their own emotional connection with the business and be able to use them when they're out with others. So there's some tips, because a lot of times if you ask someone, and perhaps you've had this experience with someone in your business or maybe your spouse or maybe your teenager, where you say, how did it go? Fine. What was it like? Good. That doesn't make for a great story. So one of the places that you can search for stories are with designers and installers. And you can do this with each other if you are a designer or an installer. And as the leader in the business, you really need to do this with all of your people. And that's to ask them questions about customer impact. So if someone comes back from maybe they did a follow-up appointment, maybe they did an install, say, how do you think that's going to affect the client? Describe the look on their face for me. If you were to pick one word that describes the emotion that they were feeling, what would that be? Play that out over the next 30 days. How do you think that's going to affect their relationships? So you ask the person the kinds of questions that will piece together a good story. And those are those what impact questions. How do you think they felt? Those emotional questions. So one of the things that I'd encourage you to do if you have regular meetings with your team, is to have them share success stories. And it's really tempting to just share the size of the solution and all the specifics about how beautiful it was and what it looked like. And that's really important. But as the leader, take the next step. And so here's your assignment. Next time you're with your team, have everyone share a success story. And you take responsibility for asking them, how did this affect the customer? What was the emotion? what was the look on their face, and then crafting that into a short story. Because when you teach your people that skill, that's something they're going to be able to replicate when they're out in the field.